देखते देखते हम पहुंच गए यूनिट लेवन नमस्कार माय नेम शेखर सुमन एंड वेलकम टू द फॉर टू हाउ टू सीरीज टुडे वी आर इन एपिसोड नंबर लेवन कंटिन्यूसली फॉर फवा सेवरल वीक्स नाउ वी हैव बीन कवरिंग एवरी यूनिट इन डिटेल विथ ईच एक्सपर्ट ऑफ बायो टेक्निका एंड टुडे वंस अगेन वी आर बैक विथ यूनिट लेवन अ ब्यूटिफुल यूनिट अ यूनिट which has definitely got some very important questions out there but to understand whether we should cover it whether should we should skip it if we should cover it whether we should you know study in detail how much in depth knowledge is required all that because you know csir net is a vast syllabus that means we need to balance our studies with our practice our revision and what not right so you know it better than me how difficult this exam is and how much practice and how much revision is required so a little lesser burden will be there if we know how much in depth we should study so to make things crystal clear to you i don't recommend sprite i recommend to you tithi ma'am yes unit 11 evolution brain and behavior is it important is it worth your time let's find out with tithi ma'am welcome ma'am to the show how are you namaskar okay. sir hello to all the subscribers so ma'am f- first of all uh, welcome once again to the episode uh, to this series uh, this is the second time you have, we are featuring you here so unit number 11 that's what we are covering today for cs anet evolution brain and behavior and since you were, you were one of the best experts we have got for this unit i quickly wanted some uh, you know uh, pointers from you the first question to you is why should a student feel motivated to study this unit what's special about this unit uh sir actually if we see from importance uh, point of view like from exam uh, like how questions are asked and how many questions are asked so compared mm-hmm. to other units like if you say developmental biology or immunology so this unit right. is not that important but there okay. are certain things which are very simple to understand and those things for sure comes in the paper and that also sir most of the time it is it comes in part c so sure sure right. people can take around 10 to 12 marks only by preparing very selective units which will not it's very selective topics from this unit not taking a lot of time okay so that's a great insight ma'am so just you know just now you mentioned about the simplicity of this unit so uh, the next question i'll withdraw from there on a you know scale of uh, difficulty 10 being very difficult zero being easy where does this uh, unit lie sir i will say it lies like concept wise if we say it will lie around 4 to 5 so i will put it on the easier side only easier side okay and uh, is it a concept based unit or a fact based unit so th- actually i will say it's a mix because there yes. are lot of calculations involved so for oh. that uh, we have to remember the formulas yes we can definitely go and understand the derivation of it but then again mm-hmm. that will be kind of a waste of our time if we go and under- try to understand the derivation some derivations mm-hmm. are easy and simple and we can do that but other formulas it's better if we just have to remember so fact right. based for sure but yes there is underlying concepts also that will help us certain topics are kind of uh, uh, this concept based as well. okay so if i'm recalling it correct in one of my interactions earlier with you you had told me that some selective units are important so tell me which units which, which sub units we should study from this particular unit okay uh, sir the third sub unit which is about the geological time scale it is important like and it is mm-hmm. completely that we have to memorize it's like sir history right. because it is the history of earth so okay. what time which species evolved which species went extinct so the which era which time and the questions are asked not only in part b nowadays they combine the questions make it little bit a combination of five six sentences and they put up the same question in part c as well oh so, interesting yeah mm-hmm. so that part is important which is completely we have to memorize the things okay and then okay. there is a uh, hardy winberg equilibrium which is the part of the population genetics which is like extremely important Like mm-hmm. every time mm-hmm. like that is what i tell the students if you can if you leave the entire unit also still do this part 
at least okay. one question in part c for sure will come from hardy bindagi oh, okay another okay. Uh, important subunit is from the the last subunit which has the altruism hamilton's rule parental investment so graphical mm -hmm. questions from there are asked okay okay so ma'am uh, now that we know okay which which particular subunits we should study what are the standard books we should follow for this uh, so Strickberger's evolution is hands down the best book in evolution if you have to study unit 11 for the entire unit okay. 11 that's the best book apart mm -hmm. from that if there are uh, people because uh, again sir like it's an english uh, language and our mother tongue is not english so if there's mm -hmm. somebody who would prefer to have a book written by an indian author so that the language becomes easy then there is a very good book called uh, organic uh, evolution by bala rastogi so it's a very good okay. book it's written by the indian author so it makes the things much simpler and much comprised way and then okay. there is also biology by Solomon Berg and Merting, which is also a very good book to study the topics of evolution. All right. So students, there you have it. You know what units, to, what subunits to study and now you know which books to refer. So ma'am, the next logical question is notes. How should we prepare notes for this, given that it's a mix of concepts and calculations? So, sir, the, as I was telling you, for the history part, from where questions yeah. do come and we have to memorize. So, right. the best thing is to use mnemonics. And that is what I teach in this class as well. I give the students mnemonics that will okay. help them to remember the order, the sequence in each of these eras and if those epochs and all these time zones, how they come. And how to remember That's the very important. events of that. Yes. Correct. So, those right. mnemonics are very easy, very easy to remember. So, we can have that okay and okay. then for the hardy winberg equilibrium which is again a very important topic as i was telling you so mm -hmm. practicing the numericals and okay actually sir, the, the the formula is very straightforward the questions that are asked are also very straightforward just that we don't understand the concept that's why the students are not able to solve those questions so if right, you practice right. the numericals from there so extremely easy very easy marks like students also like before the class i will ask them that how many of you are comfortable with this topic they will not not many of them say will yes but right. after we do it in the class after we do the numericals in the class then they will like hey, it's so easy ma'am like we can easily get this marks there okay okay so now let me introduce a new um, concept here uh, which i would like to ask you uh, Let's say there's an average student who has no assistance, he's doing, he or she is doing self-study. So on a frustration scale where 10 being very frustrating and 0 being not at all frustrating and entertaining, where does this unit lie? Uh, sir, for frustration scale, I will keep it on high because high. of the remembering things. Because we right. try to run away from remembering. Sir, <laughs> I never used to remember the dates of all this history. Right. What, what all houses came and when all it came. And the same thing yeah. is here. So that, that increases the frustration. It's like we are studying but not remembering anything. Right, right. OK, OK. So ma'am, OK, on a frustration scale, it's very frustrating if you don't have a guide or a mentor who will you know take you through. But yeah. if there is an experienced person like you teaching, then that does that frustration come down a bit? Or will it yes. still be the same way? Sir, I think our students will be a better, um, uh, no, I a better answer. But yes, <laughs> I feel like, yes, the yeah. frustration definitely gets down a lot. Right, right. So that's the, the reason I asked you this question is this is a very important factor. Uh, for all the audience out there who is watching this video, this show, you know, when you are having a guide, your frustration level reduces and that to experience hands, you will not do commit the same mistakes which others would tend to commit. And that's where study becomes entertaining, faster and much better to recall. So let's come back to the show now. So, yeah, uh, now we know how to make the notes. And uh, so how about revision? What should be the methodology we should adopt for revision for this unit? Sir, again, for the concept, so I will say that just uh, revise the thing. So if you have your note, then you must have written down in points. So just revise those important concepts. Mm -hmm. For the numericals, there is no better way to practice other than practicing the numericals itself. 
So just pick up right. last 10 years question paper, CSIR question paper, and you will get ample amount of questions which are asked in CSIR paper from the population genetics part. Right. So, uh, those questions can be done very easily. And of mm -hmm. course, there are books also, and in the books at the back of the every chapter, there are questions. So the practicing the numericals is the only way to make it easy. And right. uh, yeah, and just revising the important things, nothing much. Okay, okay. So uh, now a quick question, ma'am. You were saying that they combine this particular unit with other units also for part C. Does that happen often? And if yes, which unit they combine it with? Uh, no, sir. For this unit, it does not happen. Okay, what okay. They, okay. It, it it this this unit is usually taken as a separate unit. Standalone. Standalone. Okay. Yes. And but okay. questions, what comes is like they what they used to do earlier was straightforward question in part B. Now they mm -hmm. are putting multiple sentences, and then they will say what is okay, the yeah. correct combination of a sentence, or which is right. the incorrect combination. So, like that, statement-based questions are coming now. Okay, and ma'am, if suppose somebody is, uh, you know, targeting multiple exams like Gates, uh, CSIR, ICMR, DPT, how valid this is? This unit still holds for other entrance exams. Sir, all, all other exams, sir, whether you are talking about gate BT, whether you are talking about gate XL also, whether you are talking okay. about DBT also. Don't tell me that. Is it? Yes, population okay. genetics okay. part is kept as a part of genetics only. It's just a right, CSR exam that they have separated it and put it in evolution. But this Correct. population genetics part is considered as a part of genetics in all other syllabuses. Okay, so that's where it will come helpful. So yeah. don't forget to attempt the population genetics, right? And yes, hard the in the fifth subunit of unit subunit. OK. So ma'am, I think I've asked you a lot of questions today. But uh, you know, uh, I'm bubbling up with questions right now. But I have a time limit to stick to. However, now coming to uh, you, like when you prepared for CSIR, what challenges you faced in particular for this particular unit? So the concept-based questions, so to be frank, I left away the geological uh, time scale thing because as I told you, I was bad in remembering things like that. And I could right. not mug up. And I did not have any helping hand to show me that there are mnemonics which can help you in remembering that thing. Oh, so I completely okay. left that part. The okay. fact-based questions, it was easy to remember because Lamarck's theory, Darwin's theory, this is something that we have been studying from school. Time. So right, they are right. easy to remember and understand. But Absolutely. The Hardy Winberg part, sir, sir, I cleared my exam like some 11 years ago. At that time, the exam pattern was also different. It was subjective, objective yeah. type of question. Two papers, but I that, remember. Yeah, so that time also, I somehow managed to understand the concept of Hardy Winberg equilibrium. Definitely, it was a very preliminary understanding than how what I know right now. And right. with that also said, there was a question from Hardy Winberg and thankfully I could solve it at that time. So I still remember wow. that part. Great. So understanding Great. the concept here was a challenge without a guide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So ma'am, now you know exam is almost near, the dates are announced and very soon uh, exams will be right at the door. So what will be your message to all those 10 students who are watching this show right now? trying to you know uh, take some help from you and all the other experts of biotechnica what's your message to them so first thing relax yes you are at the last stage but that does not mean that you become hyperactive or in too much tension that you lose the focus completely this is the time to keep calm hold your nerves and believe that whatever you are doing is doing in the is going in the correct direction so just keep right. doing it Keep practicing, keep revising, and keep your mind calm. So like meditation or just a little bit of evening walk, that kind of helps to calm our mental stress. So right. stress will just make the mess only. <laughs> Otherwise, everything will be fine if you stay calm and focus and do your work. Right, right. All right, Mama, thank you so much for joining us today. It was wonderful, uh, you know, talking to you. So students out there, aspirants, as you heard it right there from Tithi ma'am, she told it rightly that at the last minute, hold your nerves. Trust in the process, don't self-doubt, okay? Trust in the process, don't self-doubt. Remember, you're going to make it. Do not study new topics and get confused. Instead, revise, revise, revise. 
this is the last over of the match. You are in unit 11 or whatever units you are studying. Remember this, that you can definitely make it if you, you know, reduce your stress factor, increase your revision factor, practice factor, and recall value. Thank you so much for watching this series today. And it was wonderful and once again interacting with you. Any questions, put them now, down in the comment section and the theme, the theme I will personally and I'll personally reply to them. And I'll see you in the next episode, which is about Unit 12 of CSANet. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.